them shit and rolling breadcrumbs. What's up Mopar fam? We just stopped over here at the Scroggy Dickens tent and we found a super sick Ram truck. Looks a whole lot like Frostbite but much faster and a lot more goodies on it. So we're going to check the truck out but it's super super clean and it's a super nice build. So let's give it a whirl. Alright Mopar fam we're over here at the Scoggin Dicky tent and they have a 19, it's actually a Ram RT clone but it was an express truck that they have literally turned into an absolute beast. Um, it's got an F1 Pro Charger blower on it. It's got some really insane looking awesome wheels that I'm really digging. Even has a little RT emblem engraved into the wheel. Big brakes. White, which is obviously the best color. And inside it's still a very absolutely daily truck like it is full interior very comfortable it looks like to drive this truck anywhere we got big meats on the back same wheels beadlock wheels it looks like and when we get up to the engine bay we're going to talk about this a little bit but it's got a nice box in the back for the uh, intercooler pretty dope they got it nice and clean this is definitely a sick truck under the hood that's what we're all waiting for so it's got the big f1 pro charger holly high ram and something i've never seen today until today it's got a 417 motorsports billet aluminum intercooler in between the holly high ram now as a lot of you know i've been looking at the tick performance unit and i've never even seen this so i'm glad that i found this because that looks to me i think it looks a little bit better um, it definitely looks cleaner than a tick performance unit so i'm glad i found that today um, but definitely a very nice setup a nice build um, and we're going to go over it a little bit and this is project storm trucker that is the name of the truck and chris owns this truck that is chris right there and we're gonna let this nice guy right here do all the talking and kind of go over what they've done to this thing because it is not a 5.7 guys that's for sure so the shorter list is what hasn't been touched on this truck so we got a 10 and a half to one compression 428 built by kurt in our race shop it's got thigh tech big big bear heads on it it's got Matt rockers uh, really the inside of the the inside of the engine there was no no expense spared uh, we got the best of the best on everything holly high ram setup with a 417 motorsports air to water intercooler carbon fiber lid 108 millimeter in uh, throttle body f1a 94 makes about 1250 to the tire uh, <clears throat> we're gonna 4000 stall converter big brakes I'm sure there's a list of stuff that I'm forgetting. Uh, 390 rear di rear gears, uh, drive shaft shop, drive shaft. Pretty much everything that you can do to this thing has been done. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to compete it in, in some of the Hemi series next year. Uh, we'd like for everybody to know that Scott and Dickey is coming in the Hemi world. So just keep an eye out for us. That's all I have to say about that. There you go. Now we can always use more help in the, in the Mopar world because uh, honestly we always feel like we're missing a lot that others have like Ford and Chevy. It's, it always seems like Mopar is missing out on a lot of stuff so hey if we got another name in the game that's a win-win. I agree. <laughs> 